Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. It's 2023 and I'm starting off this year with pneumonia and a massive asthma attack. Having spent last night in a hospital trying to recover from that and being on a number of antibiotics. So if my review sounds breathless or there's a lot of cuts, it's because I've cut in between the review. And if you're saying, Ruben, you should be resting. Well, all I did was watch this series and now I'm here to talk about it. And then I'm going to go back to bed. Let's jump in. In eventual quest to find out who killed her husband, a woman ends up exposing her small the community's deepest and ugliest secrets. There are six episodes and Anna Marie Moore plays Brundlehide Blum, but everybody just calls her Blum, and she is the mortician. She gets the bodies for the town in this beautiful, beautiful setting with mountains in the background, snowy mountains, just aesthetically pleasing series. But in amongst that, her husband dies and she's trying to find out whether it was foul play and obviously there's some mystery surrounding that and so what we get is this revenge mystery plotline that takes a turn that i wasn't quite expecting it to go which was nice but also the mystery like the big plot reveal thing like this is the secret that you weren't going to get you'll probably get midway through but there is enough here for you to be engaged with so the story itself is very interesting. You're probably going to figure out what she's doing once she does the first thing. And you're wondering how it's going to complete. It also plays with the idea of whether a parent would actually do this. And I think that's where it comes to one of the negativities of character motivations. That's the one weakest point in this series, I think. Sometimes characters do things I just don't believe. I just don't think it would go that way. But in order for the story to progress, our characters need to do these outrageous things because this is the, how they've written the story around those particular character or one particular character doing a thing to make the story move forward. There is a family that basically own the ski resort and control the whole of the town. And so as we find out secrets about this town, this family comes into play and it starts bringing all those puzzle piecing moments as you, the viewer, are trying to figure out what's going on. Now, visually, I think it's really well done. I think the cinematography is excellent. I think it's very easy to do great cinematography in a place that is so aesthetically pleasing that when you're kind of wondering why they're drawing out certain moments, you don't mind so much because the background is so stunning to look at and you're like, man, I, I need to plan my next holiday to go there. That's the sort of thing that this plays with. It also feels like a number of series kind of mesh together. And even if I mentioned them, that would be given away what would happen. So I don't want to do that. But it does feel like we've seen the series before with kind of a new idea. But it's not that fresh. And like I said, the motivations are a bit up and down. You feel like you know what's going to happen. And by the time you get to that end, you definitely have guessed most of the things. Now, we'll be talking about Ending Explained at the end. Just give you a warning, I will do a spoiler, but maybe you can help me understand a few of those kind of key missing elements as to are they thinking that they're going to do another season? I really hope not. This feels like it needs to be contained season, but there are plot points which they could do more with if they really want to stretch it out. Yusuf Joe Sveed plays Reza, and he is this guy that's kind of in the background with the in the more trees. This guy that's picked up with the family. He's got a background story of his own, and I thought he played a really nice kind of comparison to this mother that's going off the. I guess she's going off the strangers a bit. She's she plays a very smart, in, intelligent person, but the decisions she makes often aren't intelligent. It feels like off the cuff, but also calculated. There's a bit of a mix of two worlds there. And then there's this guy at the back that's quietly been helping her the whole time, helping the family, although she doesn't quite trust him. And so you have this mix mash of relationship. Now, I really liked him, the Reza character. I thought his character progression is interesting as we go from A to, well, from episode one to six. Uh, Seeing where he ends up is great. There are some character stories in this, like with the kids. They don't really add much to the plot. There's one with the daughter that didn't go anywhere. It felt like they were building it and they built it into nothing. It's just because this family is to do with the town. The daughter is somewhat a little bit involved with that. But her story isn't evolved enough for me to care about any of the kids, really. Just for you to remind them that they are still a family and that they're there and that this woman has something to fight for and if she doesn't survive or if she dies or if she gets taken away or something happens to her then this family will be left alone there's also the grandfather that has a background story that we don't get enough background story of we kind of know he's involved with law enforcement somewhat but that's as far as it gets going 
So for the protagonist, they get enough backstory. And that is a mystery. Our main protagonist, Blum, she has a mystery of her own that I liked. And I think when they give us more about her, it's interesting. But everybody around feels like they don't give us enough backstory. And that includes the big bads. And I have to say, it's pretty dark and menacing, the big bads, you near know, what they do, what they're up to, how the revenge plot storyline links into that. And when they get into them, we don't really know why, or we kind of are shown, but it, there's a there's a weird justification for it. Like, just like, as if that's the way they are and that's it. They don't really go into how, why, or give us enough. There needed to be an episode of these guys, which there isn't. So I have mixed feelings about this. Mystery, aesthetically pleasing, well filmed. I thought the acting was good. Character motivations wasn't particularly all that. Storyline was predictable, but fun in parts. So every time I went up, I went down. The score I thought was good. The sound design I thought was excellent. So there are moments of heightened intensity of just enjoyment. And I was like, yes, up. You know the roller coaster movies that you sometimes go to and they measure it with like, woo, this is the bit where that person did that. And now we have the talky talky stuff that's not really revealing much of the story and feels like it's dragging it on somewhere. Oh, here's a very good bit of background story. Oh, here's some really, really dark story. Even though it's entertaining, I'm like, yeah, that's nasty. That's the sort of stuff that you go through in this season. So I'm going to give it three Nicholas Cage's out of five. <laughs> you got one. I was teetering on the 2.5, but I think it is better than that because I was quite entertained. I liked the mystery, even though I guessed it. I thought, yeah, that's going to be the justification for that story. I was pleased with myself for having guessed it. So maybe that's a, a way of the story going, hey, did you guess where the story is going? Maybe they trying to make the audience feel smarter or maybe that my brain is so frazzled with my pneumonia that everybody would have got it way before me i don't know let me know in the comments if you got the big twist right at the uh near the beginning before midway now i'm going to talk about the ending so this is your spoiler warning so the guys in the animal masks there was five not four and i figured midway through that it was the policeman that he was kind of the head huncho he was the guy in the ski lift and there was the one that came back to kill the young girl with one swift kick and so he's the no as the executioner he was trying to bribe blum to be there kind of coexisting i will kill these people and you will get rid of them in the mortuary i think that was what he was getting towards part of it's where we both know who who each other is you've killed a number of people and i do love the sort of dexter storyline that we went on with where the mother ended up killing killers which is what basically what dexter is and then we have the actual killer the executioner and then meet and come face to face that was really interesting to me so we get that bit where she's about to die where she's about to be burnt alive and then reza comes and tries to save her he gets shot in the meantime and we get this one line of dialogue where our executioner the cop says you never get involved why are you here now you could take that one way where it's meant he's just always in the mortuary and never gets involved with the town or community because um, he was brought in by this family or that he's actually involved somewhat and knows about it i wasn't sure what to make of that so let me know what you thought i thought it was an odd line there was a recognition there from the from the cop from the executioner more so than just him staying in the background so i was like oh i wonder what that's about and then we get the whole family that is in control of the town making this new partnership who now has basically controlled the partnership and he said come to me with any problems you have we can get rid of them we know people so she's got into bed with some really dodgy people which really lends to itself to a new series that the family is not actually out of the woods yet that they could be taken out or the guy that quit on her that is not bribing her not extorting her but just saying i've given the usb chip to someone that i trust so if you come after me and try to kill me take me out then she will release it and all that footage of those people will, will come out of what they've been doing this whole time and that's what was insinuated so it could end there but it's definitely left open-ended that way so if we were to get a second season we're wondering what the mystery would be would it be about the new partnership these people that she's brought in that can take people out easily is there a bigger mystery with reza those are all questions i wanted to know that we didn't really get to find out i think probably you can guess what will happen. Netflix will cancel it and we won't get a second season because that seems to be the trend at the moment. Let me know your thoughts down below. What would you rate this? Who was your favorite character? I think Reza was probably my favorite character. I liked Blum, but I liked the, the less is more approach from the character of Reza. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.